guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Brown and I'm so happy that you're here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you wanna be subscribed to my channel. I do a lot of hair tutorials on here, makeup stuff, talk about my life. Recently it's been like acne, but I'm coming on the other side of it, which I cannot be more excited about. I have made this video probably like, I think it's two times, so I've made this video twice before. When I first started out, it was like kind of like older things that I used. This time, I don't know, I've kind of gone through a lot of products and especially since dyeing my hair blonde and doing it like super blonde, I found things that I really, really like and I've kind of become more simplistic with my hair routine. Um, I don't use as much many hair products as I did in the beginning. What I use now is pretty standard, but like important. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I use on my hair. Now, I don't use these products every single day, but this is my collection of what I use. So let's start out with shampoo and conditioner. I went ahead and I changed like the whole technique of coloring my hair. I used to get highlights. Now it's more of like a balayage technique. So because of that, my hair went through a lot of damage. So I wanted to make sure that I was really treating it well. Um, and really giving it the, I don't know, care that it needed. Um, I honestly <laughs> have been like searching for shampoos and conditioners for a really long time. I have been using the Fanola NutriCare shampoo. Um, this smells seriously like cupcakes. It's like vanilla icing. <laughs> um, but I really, really like the ingredients and I like how my hair feels. It really feels clean, but it does not dry it out. I find that a lot of shampoos, especially if you use purple shampoo, tend to dry your hair out. So um, I really like this one. Another one that I also use is from Wow Skin Science. And the reason why I like this one is because it has no like nothing in it that's bad. Like I can read the back of the ingredients and I know pretty much everything that's in there. So this has apple cider vinegar. It smells really good, um, but it's just really clean. It has argan oil, almond oil, a whole bunch of different leaf extracts that are good for your hair. And I notice every single time that I use this, it definitely removes like buildup. I use a lot of products in my hair and so sometimes um, the buildup can be pretty bad and it causes my hair to be like a yellowish tint because of that buildup. So this strips that of that. Um, I've heard of people just using apple cider vinegar on their hair um, anyways. And so that tends to leave my hair a little dry. This doesn't. Now purple shampoo. Um, I use two and I use the Fanola No Yellow. The pigmentation of this purple shampoo is like almost black. It is, it is very dark. Like as you can see, like the cap is really, um, it is, it is dark. It's like neon, but it's like almost black. So when I use this, I only use a tiny bit and I mix it with my conditioner. I usually do like a treatment of a deep conditioner with this on there. Keep it on no longer than five minutes and then rinse it out. Now say if my hair really doesn't need like much, um, I'll just go ahead and do the generic value products. This one is from Sally Beauty. Uh, this is like, you can compare it to like shimmer lights from Clairol. That Shimmer Lights one's fun too, um, but this has like little glitter in it. I don't know why, but it does. Um, this one I've had for a really long time. So this one I will use just if my hair just needs like a quick touch up of getting the yellow out, but not like too much where I keep it on there. So I'll just like wash it and then rinse it out right away. I don't leave it on for very long. Um, and this is nice cause it's really cheap. If your hair like really, really needs help getting that yellow out, I really highly suggest this, especially because you only use a tiny bit, it lasts a long time, but if you're planning to stay blonde for a really long time. Conditioners, so <clears throat> I use the, um, I use a whole bunch of deep conditioners, and I'm not gonna like say one that's better than the other in this video because um, I don't know, I, I don't have a favorite. Um, I really like the Fanola one, I really like the Agave, I've been using those for a couple months now, um, and, and I don't mind them, they're really good, but nothing like stands out to where I'm like, yes, I need to use this. However, this conditioner, it is from Wow Science, so it's like with the apple cider shampoo. Um, this one has organic coconut oil and avocado oil in it, same thing. On the back, I know everything that is in here, and it also has jojoba oil, which is what I use for my new moisturizer for my Face. I've actually been using jojoba oil in my hair too, on my ends. Um, so I really like that that is in there too. Um, once I got my hair 
bleached like seriously bleached my whole head um, there was a lot of damage to it now it just it just got really brittle and it got um, not it didn't get coarse but I definitely was more careful on it it had a lot of breakage so I really wanted something like maybe like an Olaplex 3 or a Brazilian bond builder I was not able to like go to a salon and go get those products so I ordered the fiber fix from Fanola online this is a bond connector um, this is like the same thing so um, I ordered this and it comes in like the same bottle that the Olaplex looks like and this stuff makes my hair feel like silk and it it's not like a deep conditioner it like literally like bonds the molecules of your hair together so I make sure to use this um, once a week or once every two weeks when I was when my hair was first bleached I would use it a lot more than that so right when I get out of the shower I will put some Paul Mitchell super skinny serum in my hair you guys know I talk about this all the time I'm actually running out it has been two years of me using this this bottle is like 20 bucks and when I first bought it I was like oh just for a serum but it lasts a long time two years and I'm down to here so I use one and a half pumps in my hand after every single shower and then I brush my hair with a wet brush that is used and abused. Um, so any type of wet brush will do. Um, I have the one that, that you can uh, blow dry your hair easy with. That one works great too, but any type of wet brush, I really like the wet brush because it, it detangles your hair so easily. So I really like the wet brush. And then I will go in with the 10 in one miracle hair oil, spritz just two pumps in my hand and just focus right on the ends um, to really seal the deal. This has extra virgin olive oil, almond extract or almond oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, tea tree oil, and it smells like tea tree. It smells like rosemary and tea tree. I think there's, yeah, there's rosemary in there too. So literally that is all it is. It's just vitamin E, everything you can read. There's no, nothing in here you don't understand. Okay, something that I've used a lot in the past, and I don't have any like knocks on this product whatsoever, but I just wanted to give my hair like a simpler thing, so I just used the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum and then the oil on the ends. I used to use the FabMe too. FabMe works fantastic. It smells great. It has 18 benefits to it. Um, you can spritz this on your hair, but I used to use it bef like while my hair was wet before I blow dried or let it air dry. If I want super long lasting volume at my roots, I will use ADH Dry. Now, ADH Dry is a texture cream, and what you do is you just emulsify it in your hands. I usually do it in my palm, about a pea size, and then I'll start and like, I'll rub it in my roots all the way down here, just in the center section, and then I'll kind of move through the mid right here, but then I won't add for the rest. I add this to my hair before I blow dry, and then I use a round brush, and it adds really great volume, and it's not sticky. So, that is another option for you if you don't want to tease or if you don't want stickiness to your hair. Um, I highly suggest you use this. Um, you can also use it as like a texture uh, paste at the ends. A lot of people who have shorter pixies or men's hair use this. It technically was made for men's hair, but um, it works really great for that volume that you need at your roots that lasts like literally three days. I love it. Now say my hair was air dried and then I go to curl it in the morning because that's usually my life. Um, I like to put some extra heat protectant on it. Um, I use the Croc Multi-Flex Super Heat Protectant. I really like this stuff because it is not, it's just like misty. It's not like creamy, it's not thick, it's just simple. So I really like this stuff. I think you can get it on Amazon for like 15 bucks. I'll put the link to my Amazon shop below. This is linked in there. But again, I just do like two or three spritz and then I'm done before I flat iron or curl my hair. All right, I think, yeah, we're ready to go to hair tools now. Now that my hair's dry, it's ready to go. So I will separate my hair. If you've seen any of my hair videos, you know that I use these little alligator clips. These are amazing because they like, when you open them, this thing goes down. So if you have a lot of thick hair, it clamps your hair in there. Um, and then if you just wanna do a thin section, it does that. So it literally forms to whatever thickness your hair is, which I really like. These are super easy to use. Um, a whole bunch of companies have them. I have some from Croc, I have from some, from Design Me, I have, these are from Amazon. So you can just pick them up, honestly, everywhere. If I had to live with only one hair tool for the rest of my life, it would be my new classic infrared flat iron from Croc. This is the one and a half inch. I've been using this for eight years. Absolutely my ride or die. Um, I use it at 320 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Every single time I use it, I can straighten it. I can curl it, wave it. I can crimp it. This is like, I love this flat iron. So 
I do have a code for this for 30% off. It's code Chloe30. Just everything will be linked in the description box below. Now, if I'm curling my hair, I use one of these. If I want a wand curl, I use this. This is the Marcel version too. So it has like a little twisty that you can literally twist, but then hold the, the barrel. This is the barrel, the barrel twists. Um, and this one's just like a stationary regular curling iron. The reason why I'm showing you guys both of them is because I really, really like this curling iron. This is from Ceramic Tools. You can get it at like any beauty store, I believe. This works great. It does have uh, 25 heat settings on it. It's not digital. So I don't technically know like how hot it gets, but I usually do it at about 20 um, and then turn it off and on like that. So this one is cheaper. I think it's about $40. This one, um, this is the hybrid curling iron. So it has three different settings. You can do the Marcel, you can uh, wand curl it. Like the barrel clamp is so thin that you can literally do wand, wand curls and it doesn't kink. You can also open it, whatever, and then you can just regular curl as well. Um, this I do have a code for as well. The croc code Chloe30 works on this as well. Now, if I do blow dry my hair, I don't do this often. I maybe do it twice a month. And that's just because one, I don't like being hot. And two, I take my showers at night. So most of the time I just let my hair air dry. Actually last night I blow dried my hair and I round brushed it. And I think that's why I have like so much volume in my hair, but I don't have any tees at all, which which I like. So for certain hairstyles, if I plan my hairstyles, then I usually blow dry my hair. Um, any blow dryer works, but I'm just showing you what I, do, what I use. This is the Croc IC Premium Blow Dryer. It works really good. It's only 13 ounces, which I really like because it's super lightweight. I know for a lot of professional hairstylists, the lighter the blow dryer works great. Um, this one literally blow dries my hair in like two minutes, which is awesome. The round brush that I use, oh, is dirty because I just used it last night. Um, this is the, the 43 millimeter, I believe it's the one with the red, the red on it. It's on the croc website. I'll put the link down below as well. My code works for this too. Now, when I'm all done curling or straightening my hair, I use this bad boy. This is called tool structure. This I got from Sally beauty. It's a really, really strong comb and the, the bristles are really strong too. Um, I always like using the finer section to just really get that tease close to my root. This comb does not do me wrong. I love it so much. Um, so Sally Beauty, love this thing. Now hairsprays. Um, my ride or die is the generic value products, uh, volumizing hairspray. This is comparable to the Kenra. Really like this hairspray. It's my favorite texture of hairspray. Um, it makes my hair really stay. It also has that like not stickiness, but you can feel that it's in there. And I really, really like that. It's probably bad buildup on my hair, but I don't care. This is, this is my favorite. I also really like the hold me hairspray. I usually put it on the light to medium setting when I want to spray my hair, say something light, whatever I'll use. Um, this one, yeah, it has three settings. So it works great. Now, something that I highly suggest if you don't want to tease your hair, but you want that volume in your hair, use the puff me. Um, this stuff is like a powdered texture spray. It works really good. It allows your hair to like really stick up and it's really sticky though. So um, I usually use it on day three cause I don't like the feeling of it, but it works really good. A lot of people say super high things about it and it works great. Also my favorite texture spray, I ran out of it and I threw away the bottle and I shouldn't have thrown away the bottle. Um, it is the Kenra texture spray. It's a Kenra platinum texture spray that works really well and it smells all good. Okay. Dry shampoos. A lot of people ask me about dry shampoos and they ask me what like a cheap version of a dry shampoo is. Um, the one that I like that's cheaper is the Tresemme dry shampoo. This is the fresh start. And I usually put it in the roots of my hair at night before I go to sleep and then wake up. And usually my hair is not oily. So that's, but I don't use it like the day that I need my hair to be freshened up because it kind of does leave white residue, but if you sleep on it, it works good. My favorite smell, say if your hair is like smelly and you want dry shampoo, I suggest the Amika Perk Me Up Dry Shampoo. This stuff, all of the Amika products smell fantastic. I love them, um, but this is the Perk Me Up Dry Shampoo. So if you got some smelly hair, girl, use that stuff. That smells real good. I mean, I guess you could put like perfume on your hair too, but I like that smell. Brown Roots, I have Brown Roots. Design Me just came out with this new uh, dry shampoo for brunettes and I really liked it. I'll show you guys the color on my hand so you can see. So it is dark, which is nice. And it's like a, 
a taupey brown, which I really like. So it doesn't have that red tint to it. It's not black, um, but it's like a taupey brown. So um, I really like this dry shampoo because it is brown. So if you have brown hair and you're trying to find, I mean, girls got some shadow roots, if you know what I mean. So that's that. I think that's it. I kind of gone through the whole thing. Yeah, dry shampoo is what you use last before you wash your hair. If I kept going, I'd talk about my shampoo again. But we're not going to do that because this video is already 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I tried adding a lot of different options of products, products that I truly believe in, products that I use. Um, now, my hair routine right now on a simple day is literally shampoo, conditioner, Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, that wow stuff at the end of my hair. And then I use my... Um, my flat iron, my teasing comb, and then the generic hairspray. That's like what I use on the daily. However, I do use these things in and out, you know. It's weird, when you have short hair, you need a lot of hair products. There's no way around it, like I can't just say, I mean, you can get away with it, but if you have blonde hair, you definitely need like a bond builder or like a deep conditioner or a purple shampoo. You can't get around that, otherwise your hair's gonna be yellow and dry and brittle <laughs> okay i'm rambling i don't i don't know what i'm talking about now but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye